So if you poke around in the analytics community, you're probably going to hear somebody talk about efficiency. In fact, Josh Smith was recently let go from the Detroit Pistons for being inefficient, and everyone loves the San Antonio Spurs because they are an efficient basketball team. But what even is that? So, in general, sort of life lesson here, efficiency can be viewed as the amount of resources or inputs that are required to create a desired outcome or an output. Right now, there are two main types of efficiency stats in basketball. General efficiency stats, which sort of look at a player's overall contribution during a game. Some examples would be like per, win shares, and RAPM. And then there are more refined statistics that look at an individual aspect of a player's game, like assist to turnover ratio, or like a rebound rate. However, as you can probably tell from the title, this video is about scoring efficiency. And for scoring efficiency, there are three main statistics that people use. Those are field goal percentage, effective field goal percentage, and true shooting percentage. So to get the idea of how each of these statistics work, as well as their strengths and weaknesses, we're going to look at three players. Kobe Bryant, James Harden, and LaMarcus Aldridge. Field goal percentage is the one you're probably most familiar with because it's the most popular statistic for scoring efficiency. And it's pretty simple the way it works. All it is is a percentage of shots that go into the basket. So for Kobe Bryant, it's 37% right now. Ouch. James Harden is at 42% and Aldridge is at 46%. However, there's a pretty big limitation in only measuring the percentage of shots that go in. A made three-pointer only counts to your field goal percentage as much as a made two. Now, I'm not much of a math genius, but three is bigger than two, I'm pretty sure. So in terms of determining how effective a scorer is, field goal percentage is going to be biased against players who shoot threes. Fortunately, a statistic called effective field goal percentage, you'll usually see it as EFG percentage, that corrects that problem by weighing for three-point shots. The formula, super simple, is just your made field goals plus half of your made three-pointers divided by the total number of field goal attempts you've taken. So the average is about 50% per basketball references team stats. It'll probably be a little lower for players, on average because of how that sort of works because the best players tend to take the most shots and all that fun stuff. Kobe, who makes about a three and a half per game, has an effective field goal percentage of 41%. Harden, who makes 2.3 three-pointers per game, has an effective field goal percentage of 48. And Lamarcus Aldridge, who only makes about six-tenths of a three-pointer per game, has an effective field goal percentage of 47. In case you didn't notice, Lamarcus well, Aldridge was the highest of the three in field goal percentage, but because James Harden shoots more threes and makes more threes, his effective field goal percentage is actually higher. All right, cool, but 18% of points last year came from free throws, so if you're gonna have any sort of full measure of scoring efficiency, you're gonna have to take those into account too. Fortunately, there's a statistic called true shooting percentage that does just that. True shooting percentage formula, really simple. It's just points divided by your field goal attempts plus 0.44 times your free throw attempts. All it's really doing is combining your field goals with your free throws to create a more cohesive measure of scoring efficiency. Well, 0.44 is a kind of weird number. Good point. Uh, but some smart math people sort of figured out that after accounting for and ones, fouls on three pointers, and technical fouls, that a free throw is generally worth 0.44 possessions. So the average for true shooting percentage is around 52-53. So tying this back to the three players we've been discussing, Kobe with his six and a half free throws made at the 81% clip that he shoots at for the season. He's at about a 48% true shooting, so that's a little below average. Actually, that's way below average. Harden, with his 8.8 .8 free throws he makes at about a 90% clip, is at about a 57% true shooting. And LaMarcus Aldridge, with his 4.3 free throws he makes at an 83% rate, is at about average 52% true shooting. Well, all this is fine and good, but which one should I use? Well, it depends, like everything in life, doesn't it? Personally, I'm gonna use true shooting percentage the most because it's the more cohesive sort of number, but even then, you do have to take context into account and understand where these numbers are coming from. So James Harden might look like the winner of scoring efficiency, but there's some stuff you have to consider. For one, the entire Houston offense is based around getting free throws, layups, and three-pointers, and all of those are the most efficient shots in basketball. However, it's not like it's free lunch, there is a significant drawback to that, and for Houston, 
It's at their third in turnover percentage in the entire NBA, with Harden averaging four turnovers a game, which is second most in the NBA. Turning the ball over? Not very efficient. Well, Marcus Aldridge, on the other hand, while his shots may be less efficient because he operates more from mid-range than from three and in the paint and getting layups and going to the line, he doesn't turn the ball over very much. He only gets 1.6 turnovers per game. So you could actually make the argument that they're either similar efficiency or maybe even give the nod to Aldridge. To put it another way, context still matters a lot. Something else that would matter a lot is if you liked this video or disliked it, we can work that way too. And if you do like it, share it on Facebook and Twitter. Maybe you have a friend who's a Kobe fan. You can kind of like get under his skin a little bit because Kobe isn't doing so well this year in terms of efficiency. Think about subscribing to be notified of our future videos and maybe leave a comment. How important do you think scoring efficiency is? Would you rather have a guy who gives you 20 points on average efficiency or like 10 or 15 at a much higher efficiency. I know I'm in the latter camp. I have to give a big thank you to Basketball Reference for providing the stats that we're using in this video. Check them out if you haven't already. And lastly, and most importantly, thank you for watching and enjoy your holiday. Peace out, guys.